Hey Leo, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a collective love reading to see what's going on between you and your person, the person that you are connecting with, the person in your energy. Okay, currently. Welcome back if you're returning to my channel. Your support of my channel helps my channel grow. This is a new channel, so I do appreciate your support. It helps me to, to connect with as many of you as possible. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little down today. I feel kind of winded and it's early here. It's morning time in New York City and I'm still getting over a cold, but I hope you guys are well. If you are new here, perhaps you will let here because Spirit has messages for you. Cross watches, you are welcome and the roles may be reversed. Please flip the messages as needed, okay? Never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it. All right, so we're going to just get right into it for you, Leo. Spirit, please show me the messages for Leo. What I'm going to do is pull your current energy. I'm going to pull your person's current energy, your cards, your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading. I will also be pulling advice cards and oracle messages, okay? So, Spirit, please show me what you have for Leo. What are the messages for Leo? Show me Leo's current energy, please. Your current energy is the King of Wands. Spirit, please show me Leo's person's current energy. Your person is the Two of Wands. I'm getting a lot of fire energy. Um, that's your energy. That could be your energy. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You may be connected with another fire sign, another Leo, or an Aries or Sagittarius. It could be any sign, though. If the reading resonates, then it's for you. Okay. The challenges. The King of Wands is showing me um, energy I'm getting of feeling like someone is fearless, very committed to you. You feel optimistic and confident about your connection. Okay. I feel like you, either you or the person you're thinking about in your mind is in your, in your current energy. You look at them as a leader. You feel really confident about the connection. There's a lot of passion and you feel really happy about this decision, okay? Your person's energy is a two of wands. I get them trying to figure out what they need to do between two different options. I'm not getting off the top that it's another person. I just feel like it's two different paths and they're deciding which path to take and they're just waiting. They may be waiting and for some sort of response Okay, or some sort of offer. It may involve traveling. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go to your person. Um, that's a very direct message. In the past, about the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands reverse. Let me see why the Seven of Wands reverse is here. In the past, I feel like you surrendered to a connection, to a new beginning with someone. Um, there was a lot of heartbreak in that connection. I feel like there was some sort of separation. I feel like it, it, it was around some sort of misunderstanding and conflict that you went through with this person. It caused a lot of emotional trauma and it kind of broke your relationship. But I also feel that you surrendered to this connection and decided to give it another chance. Um, but I'm also getting this energy with the death reverse that it's repeated patterns with this person. I get that this person might have been in and out of your life and there's, a, there's some sort of resistance to change, um, some sort of fear of change. So it's like there's an inability to move forward from this connection because of a fear of change. So in spite of what led to this um, separation and sadness, you decided with this Ace of Wands to surrender and give this connection another chance, a new beginning, okay? I feel like it was pretty um, spontaneous. There's a lot of passion here in this connection. You two are drawn to each other uh, very strongly.
and you up to the challenge, okay? So in the current position, I got the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, solidifying that new beginning with this person. And this is why your current energy is the King of Wands. Again, I'm feeling really optimistic and passionate about this new opportunity, um, this commitment. This may even involve some sort of financial offer, something really solid, something as far as stability. It could be a new job, um, starting your business together or starting your business on your own. Someone in this connection is um, getting some sort of return on an investment. There's some financial security and there's commitment here, okay? Um, this, I feel strongly, may even be work-related, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like the hard work is paid off. You know, like between you and your person, somebody's put in a lot of work and they're seeing the results of that, okay? So this is a beautiful thing, too, just to feel like you're financially stable within your connection. In the future, I got the Three of Cups and the Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Um... I feel like in the future, you and your person have something that you're going to be celebrating. There's going to be happiness. Um, why is this double reverse here? Okay, what I see is that you guys are continue to recover from the issues in the past in this relationship that broke you down. And when you decided to say in, in, in recent past, let's give this surrender to this co connection, let's give it another sh shot. Um, So you're trying to, you know, recover from, I get like codependency issues in this connection in the past, but coming out of that, reclaiming your power. Um, and this Ace of Pentacles, it's what brings you into this devil reverse energy of celebrating. This is really beautiful, by the way. Um, the reason why this devil reverse is here, just to, to clarify, is the Ace of Cups reverse and the Justice reverse. Okay, um, someone in this connection felt like they was treated unfairly. They had been treated unfairly. There was dishonesty. Someone was being um, accused of something and they were lacking accountability for it. And um, it led to a breakup. Somebody's, um, it was repressing their emotions. For some of you, this breakup might have even included like a miscarriage. Okay, there might have been uh, a miscarriage as a result of the strain in this relationship. Um, that's a very direct message. But I get that someone was really cold. So if there was a miscarriage involved, um, perhaps the other person was being blamed. Blamed the person. The person that had the miscarriage was being blamed for having that miscarriage by the other person. Okay? They were blaming them for that loss, I get. They were really cold towards them. Um... But you're deciding to let all of that go, okay, in the future. Like, oh, just deciding to detach yourself from all those things in your past that broke down this relation relationship. There was a lot of pain here one time. With this Three of Cups, though, I'm seeing celebrating, you know, coming together with family. Um, and that's in the near future. Some of you may be planning to spend the holidays together um, with your person. You're trying to work on um, even trying to invest in each other financially it could be again it could be a business it could be a home but you're trying to move forward and trying to recover from all the heartache in the past so i guess that you're here because you just want to know if what's where, where are we going with this i'm getting that energy on um, leo because you've been through so much with this person in the past and you guys took a really great loss and you just want to know if this is really going to work this time your person is contemplating something they're trying to make a decision um, but I feel like it has to do with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? Some sort of financial offer. Um, in on the bottom of the deck, I got the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Pentacles reverse as your challenge. Um, Pentacles, uh, Earth energy. You could be connected with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It could be any sign, though. But I'm getting a lot of Earth energy. Your challenge. Is to be very careful about how you're spending and how you and your person are spending in your relationship. I get, you know, the excitement of being stable and having financial offers and return of investments and that sort of thing. 
but um, still c continue to be motivated, still put in your efforts, the challenges to avoid any poor efforts, lack of motivation, um, and overspending. I'm getting that. Avoid, but very for, for some of you, please watch. It's very important that you don't put out more money than you're getting in. Be very mindful of that. Okay, try to avoid any financial insecurities and also don't overwork yourself either. Um, there's, there is going to be a need to be more ambitious and continue to be ambitious, but don't overwork yourself. Okay, because I get that, you know, that could be a challenge. And if you're a workaholic, it can definitely put some strain on this relationship. Um, with the two of pentacles reversed, um, the challenge is also making a decision. Again, I said that your person with the two of wands is going to make like, some sort of financial decision. Um, I'm getting maybe a business opportunity. Um, the challenge is to not allow yourselves to be overwhelmed by this decision that this person makes and um, to just manage this decision correctly. Um, be very strategic about your next move with your person and how you're planning things. Talk about your plans for each other. Talk about your short-term goals, your long-term goals. There's going to be a need for that. There's going to be a need to make a decision so you guys can keep things from being overwhelmed, okay? Keep things um, balanced, all right? So I'm going to pull your person's current feelings towards you. Spirit, please show me um, Leo's person's current feelings towards Leo. Your person is, is very concerned, and maybe that's why they're trying to decide on certain things, even though there's love here and there's financial stability and there's a lot of celebrating. Your person has a lot of worries, though. With this Six of Swords reverse, this Fool reverse, and the World reverse, your person's concern is stagnant energy and this connection again, just repeating the same kind of cycles, going back to the foolishness that you guys were dealing with in the past. Um... And your person's also concerned about lack of progress. Um, I'm getting, again, they're concerned about instability moving forward. Um, that's why with this two of wands waiting on this decision that they need to make. And again, I feel like it's around a, a job or a career or something with money. Um, this is the thing, though. When you focus on the past, you what you're doing is you're putting your point your energy into depression. If you focus on the future, there's anxiety. There's a need for your person to be more in the moment, but they're, they're more worried about the future and the past, and that's the issue. And that's why they're getting these feelings underneath the surface of feeling some depression and some anxiety, okay? Because they feel like they're, whatever's happening now, there's delays. Um, they might have experienced some sort of canceled travel, traveling plans, that, that kind of thing. Um, so for some of you, they might have just returned from traveling your person, but they're just concerned. They don't want to be neglectful in this, in this connection with the full reverse. They don't want their indecision to cause um, behaviors of inconsideration. You know, they don't want their, they don't want to make any bad decisions in this connection. Okay. And repeat the same bullshit that has happened in the past. That's where there is there. They are right now. They're thinking about their concerns of what went wrong in the past and what can go wrong in the future. OK, um, but that's that's kind of interesting, Leo, because you can tell this person really cares about you to be so concerned about, well, how is everything going to you know what's what's going to happen with my Leo in the future? You know, I don't want the, the past to interfere with the future. So that is something that that's not a bad thing with your person. They just have a lot in their mind. They're trying to figure out what's the best direction to go. But, they, you know, there's love here. There's a lot of love here. So, um, Spirit, please show me Leo's current feelings toward their person. Please show me Leo's feelings. Okay. Wow, you have the same... <laughs> you guys are mirroring each other. You have the same concerns that your person has. I got the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles Reverse, and the King of Swords Reverse. There's a concern here about... Recipro reciprocity. I'm sorry, guys. I'm early. There's a very strong concern of reciprocity. Right now, you feel like you have what you need from this person, but you want to know, will it continue? You know, is this person going to give 
you know, important to the connection as I am. I, I feel like there's some a concern and a fear of you feeling um, undervalued by this person and be treated unfairly again. Um, and there's also a concern about how they invest because things are going great, you know, great now. But you're wondering, okay, but what's going to happen? Is this going to be stable? You know, there's a concern of poor investing. So your person might have made a bad investment in the past. They might have gotten scammed in some way financially. And it caused you to be in a position where you had to carry the bulk of the relationship financially. So there's a concern there. And, you know, there's also this concern of this Ten of Swords of being betrayed by this person again. Because I feel like they hurt you deeply. They destroyed the relationship. It was like a rock bottom um, situation. And you felt betrayed by them. And you like, well, you didn't think you could come back up from it. And you have. So there's a concern. Also with this um, King of Swords reverse, I get that your person was very controlling and very judgmental. And they lacked a structure and a routine. So now they're stable and you're like, oh, this is this is what they're doing. They're putting in the work. They're seeing the efforts and the, the rewards of their hard work. And you're like, okay, this is great. But I'm concerned that well, there's going to be a situation where things are going to go bad again. Okay? Um, and you're not heard in this in this connection. You're not, you, you feel like you're not being heard because your person is controlling um, the momentum of the relationship. And you don't want that. So there's these, there are these concerns that you have too with your person currently. And this is why you're here at this reading. <laughs> so I'm going to pull some advice cards for you. Okay. Spirit, please show me advice for Leo, please. Wow. This would ease both of your minds, by the way. I got the Eight of Swords reversed, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Wands. What you don't even realize because you guys are mirroring your concerns for each other and not discussing it with each other, there's a need to, okay? Um, everything's going to work out. This is a wish fulfillment in this connection. You just have to remain positive. Like, like you have to be optimistic. Thoughts become things. So you need to understand that there is happiness here. There is fulfillment here. Um, just keep moving ahead. Keep planning. And that, that travel that your person is concerned about is going to happen with this Three of Wands. They're going to have this traveling. So this could be just a, a business trip. This person may have to go away for a certain amount of time. And they're concerned about going or, you know, should they go or should they stay? They're concerned about the state of the relationship. They don't want their decision to cause your relationship to suffer as it did in the past. I feel like there was a feminine energy in this connection. There was a lot of stress in the past and it caused a miscarriage. Again, that's a very specific message um, for some of you. If it's not you, you're like, I don't even have any children. I was never pregnant. Then it's not your, that's not your story. That's a very direct message. It could have been a miscarriage for somebody who doesn't have um, any children, they could have just felt like your person could have just felt there was like a missed opportunity. There was a loss. There was emotional loss. And that's why you two have those concerns. But to clarify, things are going to be moving ahead. So continue to plan, continue to grow. Yes, um, there may be a, a I'm getting long distance travel romance. So that you guys may be separated for a certain amount of time for business. But this is going to be complete happiness and fulfillment. So the advice that I have to you is the Eight of Swords reversed and the punishment that you're doing on yourself. It's self-imposed um, tra entrapment that you're feeling right now. So, you know, find solutions. You guys can come together, take control of the situation, find solutions to your issues, face your fears and heal together. Okay, this time, this is a new beginning in this connection. It's time for you guys to have a new perspective. Okay, but um, this is self-sabotage, self-sabotaging behavior to be in this Eight of Swords reverse um, in this Eight of Swords energy. It's in reverse. So the advice that I'm getting for you is to, to take control. Okay, um, stay strong and come together. Talk about it. Talk about your plans for each other. Talk about your fears for each other, because I get this energy of you both giving each other, you know, each other's the back, your backs when it comes to all these concerns. Turn to each other. Okay, turn to each other and work on these issues. Discuss your concerns. I feel like you're going to feel such a sigh of relief once you discuss these fears that you both have in this connection. Because you guys are in a really good place right now. And, you know, it's still going to take some work moving forward, but you're moving in the right direction. This is a really beautiful reading, Leo. 
So um, I hope that you can find some clarity and peace in these in these messages. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some messages from your person. Um, Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Leo in regards to their connection with this person. The time apart has given me an opportunity to pause and reflect on the mistakes I've made. See, this person know they was wrong, they was wrong and they want to make things right with you, okay? They want to make things right. They want to heal this connection with you. Um, this is accountability. So if this person hasn't said that to you, just know that this person is, is trying to be accountable for the mistakes that, that they made that caused a breakdown in this connection. I love you dearly and deeply. I hope someday I will have the courage to say this to you directly. So this is the kind of person I get that they may they show you how they feel. Sometimes they may even be a little closed off, but they don't, they don't always say, you know, I love you so much. You know, they're not really that vocal emotionally as you would like them to be, but they they want to. They're just afraid. They're afraid if that they, if they allow themselves to be that vulnerable to you and they don't live up to it, then they've disappointed you and they've disappointed themselves. So they want you to know they want to have that they, they want to have the courage to say this to you directly. Okay, I think this person really doesn't say things like that. They don't really express their emotions. A lot of times you have to figure it out by their actions. I have a lot going on in my life right now, and I can't give you the attention you deserve. So this person understands that you may feel a little neglected right now emotionally neglected because please believe me as far as financially you guys are coming together things are working out and you feel optimistic about the decisions that's being made in this connection right now and there's a lot of passion but this person says they feel like they're not giving you as much as you deserve um but it's just because they're trying to make a decision with this two of wands they have a lot going on but everything is going to work out it's moving in the right direction all right so i'm going to pull some romance angel cards Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Leo in regards to their connection with their person. You guys have been through so much together. But um, it's beautiful to see that if you guys continue to put in the work and communicate with each other, it's you're going in the right direction. This is going to be complete fulfillment for you, complete happiness. And no time apart can break that. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yes, and by what I'm saying is things are going great right now financially, but there's this concern about finances. Are we making the right decision? Is it going to continue like this? You know, there's a concern that there'll be, a, again, there'll be some sort of bad investment because there were bad investments in the past, and now you guys are getting a return on an investment. Things are turning around for you. So there is, a, there is a lot of concern about finances in Korea. And also there's another, um, fa financial issues are a factor in your love life right now because your person is trying to decide if they're, you know, about make, taking this offer and this offer is, can take them away from you for a, a certain amount of time. I'm not saying months, years, I don't know what the time is, but it's just time apart. It could be a weekend, it could be a week, you know, but there's a separation period that you guys are approaching and you're like, there's a concern of wondering if you can make it through. And, and the answer that I have for you is yes, you can make it through. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Focus on this connection. Focus on a plan for this connection. Turn into each other, talking to each other. Disconnect from the outside. Don't allow any outside influences, family members, friends, or anybody to affect the decision that you and your person are having in regards to coming together and working on this relationship. What, what matters the most is how you two feel about your connection, not how anybody else feels about it. Okay. Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. This doesn't apply to you guys, um, but what the energy that I am getting from this release your ex card is that somebody in this connection may be communicating with somebody from the past. And when I got this retreat, time to disconnect from the world, it includes this person. I get the energy of being in contact with someone from the past 
as a friend, but the thing is, what I'm getting the energy of one of you turn into someone. It may be you, um, Leo, turn into your ex just as a soft place to land on and venting to them about issues in a relationship, concerns in a relationship, but not speaking to your person. There's a need for you not to do that and to release this person. Your cycle with that person is over, okay? The person that you're supposed to be speaking to about the issues within your relationship is your person, which was brings me to this, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. <laughs> Spirit does not lie. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I was saying that there is such a need for you to turn to each other. You guys are mirroring each other with your concerns in regards to this union. So there's a need to not talk to somebody that you're no longer with, but to speak to your person. Share your concerns with them and work on this together, okay? Pay attention to the red flags that signs are cautioning you. So pay attention. Understand that um, me, you speaking to this person that you're no longer with, this person, I feel like, still carries passionate feelings for you, okay? They may not be completely out front with it, but there are little things that they're doing to show you that they still hold a, you know, hold a, a torch for you. They still have some feelings for you. You need to pay attention to that because their advice for you may not be in your best benefit. And not because I don't feel like they're spiteful or anything like that. It's just that because they would rather have you to themselves and they realize that, that you are a missed opportunity to them. Okay, but you have to pay attention to that. Be very, very careful. Again, instead of speaking outside your relationship and getting go, turn into outside influences, especially from an ex, um, turn in, turn to your person, talk to your person, okay? Engagement, your love life is ascended to a high level of commitment, okay? So this is what I'm getting, this is beautiful. And that's why there's a Three of Cups, there's a Celebrations ahead with Three of Cups. This is going to trans transition into an even more solid commitment. Okay, this can go into turn into marriage. This is beautiful. This is a serious connection. Okay, this person, you and your this per, your person want to build a life with each other. Okay, so you definitely don't need to be in contact with anybody from the past to interfere with that. All right, you have a lot of love in this connection, and it's time for you to turn to your person and your person to turn to you. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna pull some oracle messages. from this Lover's Oracle deck, okay? And then we're gonna close out this read. Sorry, guys. It's so hard to <laughs> shuffle this deck. These are really weird cards. <laughs> Very difficult to shuffle. Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Leo. Oh my goodness. These cards are crazy. I read when I ordered these cards that they were hard to shuffle and I see why. All right. All right, so Spirit, please show me the messages that you have for Leo to close out this read. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically, okay? This person's already with you. Your soulmate is here, okay? You have to believe that this is who they are, okay? You're with this person, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of history and everything, but you have to manifest physically that this is in fact the one. This is the person. This is not just your partner. This is your life partner. This is the one. This is the one that the divine has sent for you. You two are meant to be with each other. Okay. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greatest healer. Okay. Love is the greatest healer. It's time for you to get back to what brought you two together in the first place. And remember, it doesn't always have to be so serious and stressful. Just stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with each other. I know it's hard, but again, the past causes depression. When you focus on it, and the future can cause anxiety when you focus on it. So stay present. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Again, yes. Happy thoughts. Thoughts become things. You guys are moving in the right direction. This is super beautiful. Just don't allow any outside interference in this connection. Turn to each other. Love one another and build together. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for you, Leo. If this reading resonated, please let me know by liking, sharing, subscribing, or commenting. I appreciate your support of me. I wish you nothing but healing, love, and light, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.